Okay guys, so I'm doing a super quick makeup look today because A, I don't want to spend too long doing it because I need to leave in half an hour and B, it's been like literally 30 degrees every day and my makeup has just been sweating off. So I've been spending the whole day just blotting myself. So I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I'm not gonna put much on. It's semi-experimental, so bear with me. So I'm just gonna start with my Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. This is my favorite rose hip oil. I've been using it for like two years now. Um, and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that all over my face. What um, I like about this is that it just gives my skin a bit of a natural glow. So we're gonna rub that in really well because we don't want it to be too oily. Okay, so what I want to do is just put a tiny bit of makeup under my eyes because that's probably my like troubled area. And I'll put a little bit around my mouth here just because I've got some pigmentation that I like to cover up. At the moment, my favorite concealer is Fenty Beauty's The Cure. Um, for someone who has brown skin, it's generally really difficult to find a concealer that matches your skin really well without coming up ashy so a lot of the concealers that I use I love and then when they settle into my skin a little bit there's like this weird ashy undertone you can definitely see it in photos this is the only concealer concealer I've found that does not do that so I'm obsessed with it um, so I'm just gonna put the tiniest little bit under my eyes I'm just gonna put a tiny bit here and here and on my spots so like literally hardly anything. And then I just use a, I like to use a buffer brush to just buff that out. Um, and at the moment I'm using Zoeva and it's number 104 buffer. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is mix that in. I'm using my MAC water weight SPF 30 foundation studio i use the color nc44 it's a bit dark for me i usually mix it in with my giorgio armani luminous silk foundation when i've got a tan so i'm just going to use a tiny tiny bit of this what i like about it is it's a bit oilier than my other foundation so when i'm trying to do this kind of natural dewy look it works really well and now i'm just gonna dab it under my eyes uh, and on my cheeks and just a tiny bit on my forehead as well. Literally the most random makeup application ever. Like I said, I'm experimenting. So I'm <laughs> putting a, just the tiniest bit of my foundation. I'm just gonna kind of spot it on my face just to give myself a tiny bit of coverage. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of powder under my eyes. Okay, so at the moment I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter powder in Cashew. Love this powder. Again, it's the same kind of deal with the concealers. I've seriously struggled to find a powder that, like all banana powders look ashy on me, even darker powders look ashy on me. This is the only powder that I feel like is a mix between like kind of a brown and a translucent. I don't know how to explain that. Anyway, I love this powder. If you have darker skin and you struggle with powders, get this one. And that's it. Now I'm gonna do a bit of blush. Uh, at the moment I'm using a mix between my little NARS orgasm tester and models prefer, I don't know what this is, blush, celebrity crush. I've been using this for ages, I love it. So I like to use my NARS first. Oh no, I'm gonna use my bronzer first. All right, sorry guys, <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm using my Becca Sunlit Bronzer. And I'm just gonna put a bit on because I don't have foundation on, really. So it would look silly if I used too much. Now my blush. Okay, I need to leave in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a bit of highlighter now. At the moment, I really love this Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. Um, it's called Cheek to Chic Swish and Glow Blusher. 
pillow talk. It's really subtle, um, not too subtle, so it works, but I love the color palette and I just think it's a really nice soft highlighter to use. Um, I'm just gonna put a bit of that on my cupid's bow. And on the tip of my nose. And under my eyebrows. Also, I'm using a, <laughs> I'm using an eyeshadow brush. Um, it's the Lux Crease 228 by Zoeva. But, you know, whatever. Tiny bit on my cheekbones, just the tiniest little bit. Now I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up with my CoverGirl Honey Brown. It's got a little spoolie and a little <laughs> pencil. <laughs> And that's it. Again, super easy. Mascara and a bit of gloss and we're done with the no makeup makeup look, which is actually taking me 20 minutes. I'm just going to use my, this is Lancome Big Waterproof um, Mascara. Um, I learned recently that waterproof mascara actually keeps your eyelashes in place for longer when you curl them. So that's a nifty little trick. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop some gloss on, but this is the finished look. Super simple, super easy. Doesn't really look like I've done too much to my face, but I also look presentable. Okay, I gotta finish getting ready. I will see you guys at Watson's Bay.